Hello, I'm Dr. Bond of OSOI, and today I'm going to show you around our surgery center called Cozy. And you're going to be following around a long-term patient of mine who you might even recognize. So I'm going to catch up with you in just a bit in pre-op, and I'm going to go see my next patient. My name is Tim Pond. This is my brother, Tobias. We are here today to have surgery. I am an expert surgery patient. I am coming to COSI for my third operation because I have a lot wrong with me. Tobias, are you ready? Come on! I want to tell you from being the expert surgery patient that I am is that anytime you come to surgery you must wear the proper loose cloak that comes off and on very easily you know what I'm saying I mean you always have to look good and you always have to feel good. so Make sure and wear the appropriate stuff, huh? Hey, no! I mean, we've just come here. You can't be thirsty. Open the door. Let's go. Got some things to do here. Hello, Nikki. Huh? Hi. Tim you? here. Hi. Huh? You remember me? I do remember you. Yes. Back again? Yes. I know what I have to give you this yes, time. Yes, I need those. But first. Well, I just want you. you to know my phone number is on one of those cards. Well, thank you. Okay, what do I do? You're going to have a seat at the desk right here, and Brittany's going to oh, be in. Oh, my Brittany! Is yes. she here today? She is here today. Oh, I will be so excited to see her. Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Good. It's good to see you good again. Good to see huh? you too. Yes, sir. Here are your cards back. And I'm just going to have you sign some quick consent forms here. First consent is our HIPAA consent. That says we're not going to talk to anyone without your okay. Initial and sign for me, please. Perfect. And then the next one, this is a financial agreement. This says that we are billing your insurance separately from your surgeon. Perfect. And I'm just going to put a bracelet on you real quick. It has all of your information on it, such as your name and your birth date. Okay, you are all set. If you want to have a seat out in the lobby. Brittany, I just wanted to let you know I'm not pregnant. Good. That's good to know. Thank okay. you. Okay. See you later, Brittany. See Next you later. time, huh? Next time. Yes. Okay, so what I've learned is after you see Brittany, you're going to wait in this waiting room for just a few moments. You can look at the magazine, you can enjoy the luxuries of the television, you can do push-ups, but no coffee! <coughs> I don't do any of those things. I'm too lazy. So I just sit here until... And Shannon! Hi, Mr. Pond. Are you ready? Oh, absolutely. Come on back. My heart beats for you. We're so glad to have you here. Very nice to be back. Nice to have you. Have you had anything to eat yet? Absolutely not! Last time, they canceled my case because I had two cashew nuts 
and some coffee. They said that if they put the tube in and I had those contents in my stomach, it could go into my lungs and I would die. Oh, that would be very bad. We don't very want bad. that to happen to you. Very bad. Yes, let's stay away from that. What surgery are you having then today? I'm going to have my right knee. You know, last time I had my right shoulder, my left shoulder. So now it's kind of hurting, so I thought I'd have my knee surgery. Well, I'm glad you chose to come back to see us. Wouldn't have it any other way. Perfect. If you'll stand on the scale for me. Okay, great. Come on over here. And Mr. Pond, do you have any drug allergies? I do not have any drug allergies. Okay. Have you had any medications today? Nope, not a thing. Oh, great job following directions. I'm just going to let you take some vital signs and then step out and let you change into your gown. I'm ready. All right. Now that you're hooked up and ready to go, consent signed, I'm going to step out and get your brother while Dr. Bond comes in and talks to you about your surgery. Hey, Tim, it's good to see you again. How are you Hello, doing? Hello, Dr. Bond. Hey, can you tell me what we're going to do today for uh, you? We're going to fix my right knee. That's right, Tim. So really what we're going to do today is just make two poke holes, right? The inferior border of your knee, right here and here. And then we're going to go in and we're going to scope your knee. We'll look in the top of your knee, the sides of your knee. And then we'll look at the menisci, the ACL, the PCL, and the popliteus tendon. And when we look at all that, we'll see what uh, is, is pathologic in there. And we'll take anything pathologic out and anything that's normal, we'll retain. Okay, that sounds good to me, huh? <laughs> Has Angie already marked your knee? Oh, Angie. Angie, oh, that Angie, yes, she, she can, she's a keeper, you know that one, you should keep her around, yeah, she marked my knee. Okay, are there any questions that you have for me? Uh, no. Okay, well, they're turning o the OR uh, around right now, you're on the runway, we're going to get you back there as soon as they're finished, so I'll see you back there, you might not see me though, okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm all ready, just any time you want, I'm ready. When they get the OR ready, they come to get you with the, this nice nurse here, and she takes you back to the OR. Somebody else will take your family, and then take them back to the waiting room, and once the procedure's over, Dr. Bond will come to talk to them. So we'll see you then, huh? See you later! Bye-bye! I see you! One thing you'll notice when you come into the operating room is very cold. Crazy. But they give you blankets and it's okay because you have a, three people that will take very good care of you. Vaughn is the anesthesiologist. He puts you to sleep and he wakes you up, takes care of your vital signs all the time you are asleep. Then the very beautiful nurse paints your body with anti-infection scrubs and paints, takes care of everything, running and getting instruments. And then there's this group tech. She handles all of the instruments to the surgeon, keeps things organized and very calm. Because if you haven't noticed, surgeons have very volatile personalities and they need lots of people to keep them calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> Thank you.
Mr. Pond, you're just waking up from surgery. How are you feeling? I'm a little bit sleepy. Are you having any pain? I don't think I'm having any pain. Good. Just relax and rest, and I'll come back and check on you in a little bit, okay? See you later. Mr. Pond, how are you feeling now? Cassie, is that you? It's me. Hey, I Hi. remember you from last time. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, I'm better than ever. Good, good. Do you feel like having something to eat or drink? Oh, I've been so hungry and so thirsty. Okay, let me get that for you. Okay, thank you, Cassie. Okay, so what they've done so much is after my surgery, you know, I came back here and she lets me see if, if I have any... Mm nausea or anything like that and if you do they just give you drugs the drugs are very good back here i mean and cassie she's great i mean she has all these monitors the monitors your vital signs she makes sure everything is tip top shape and then she gives you something to eat and drink make sure you keep it down cassie it's better than the best western at the motel six that i usually stay in so i just want you to know this is the best part of the whole surgery Eat, drink, drugs, no problem. Very good. Here you go. Hey, Cassie. Oh, thank. I love the sprite. Thank you very much. Uh, could you get me some of those another buzz? Last time I had another buzz here. Very good. Sure. Very good. Sure. And okay. now that you're more awake, I'm gonna go get your brother out of the waiting room so we can oh, go Tobias. over. Oh, Yeah. Oh, you should meet Tobias. Very good. <laughs> you like him. And we'll go over discharge instructions with him. Okay. And while I'm away, there's always another nurse here in the recovery room to monitor you and get you anything you need. Okay. There. Okay. <laughs> I nurse. <laughs> nurse. <laughs> Now, one thing I want to tell you is that um, since all of these surgeries are different, I've had three different surgeries, and they always give me different post-op instructions. So surgery to surgery, procedure pro to procedure, you will get different instructions. Even different surgeons like to treat different procedures differently. So it will be very individualistic to your particular journey through COSY. Okay, so we're going to fast forward to a lot of this post-op instruction business because it differs from surgeon to surgeon, and so it really doesn't matter. You won't remember much anyway, but... And lastly, remember physical therapy plays a huge role in your recovery, so remember to do everything that they tell you to do. Yes, I remember Sandra and Jimmy and my last... Oh, you would not believe how good I did in physical therapy. Mr. Pond, whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go, here we go. Look out. We gotta go nice and easy, okay? Nice and easy. The ceiling's about to come down. Nice and controlled. What? Nice and controlled. Control. Controlled. Nice and smooth. Let's try it again. Okay, well this time make sure to do your physical therapy how they say to do it. No problem. Do you have any more questions? Nope, I think I'm ready to go. 
Great. Just remember, we'll give you this folder with all of your discharge instructions and contact information for any numbers you may need, and we'll send that home with you. So please call us if you need anything at all. Okay. Thank you, Cassie. Okay. So the only thing is when you're leaving the recovery room, if you need any braces, crutches, anything like that, durable medical equipment, they will take care of all of it. Don't worry. It'll be good. Okay, Mr. Pond, it's time for you to go home. Everything went well. We're going to meet your brother outside. Okay. Well, I guess this is the end of the journey. So, I've really enjoyed taking you around Cozy today. And I just want you to know this very, very important thing you must remember in your journey through Cozy. You must have a very good means of transportation to take you home. Because Cassie here... She's not going to be taking you home. You must get somebody for that. Is this your vehicle, Mr. Pond? My name is James Bond, and I <laughs> don't know what to say. You're going to be able to follow around one of our expert patients in Central Orthopedic Technology. <laughs> I got some <laughs> So I said too much, or she? You're saying too much. You gotta say I'm saying too much. Yes, you did. Okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay. Yeah. Right. Eyes up here. Good yep. morning, Tim. It's good to see you again. How are you doing? Hey, Dr. Bond! <laughs> okay, let's do that. Okay. I gotta do that. So somebody say, did Angie come by and mark my knee? And I'll, I'll uh, try to. You need me to say yeah. that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> he doesn't know I the line. Do. Line. <laughs> my line. Whose line is that anyway? <laughs> so did Angie mark your knee? Oh, I thought we were saying sounds good first. Okay, no? yeah, sorry. Okay. 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 Mr. Pond, you're just waking up from surgery. How are you feeling? What did he say? <laughs> Am I in heaven? <laughs> here you go. Oh, Cassie, thank you. I love the sprites here. And, uh, oh, could you get me some of those nutter butters? Last time they had another, it's much better. Now that you're more, <laughs> oh my god, just gonna ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> she just ignored it completely. I'm like, now that you're more awake, I'm just gonna ignore the nutter butter. So, at the end of physical therapy, they have a performance test for your shoulder. 